Hey, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Mavic Air once more and a brand new feature that it brings to the table of the APAS system, which allows this to fly autonomously around objects so that you don't crash your drone. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? Thanks so much for stopping by the channel today. My name is Timothy and on this channel I focus on tech tools and tutorials to help you create the best content that you can for your YouTube channels and your production. So hey, if you're new here, consider subscribing and joining the community. Hey, and just want to take a quick second to remind you of my new upload schedule every Tuesday and Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm putting up new videos right here on the channel, so be sure you're subscribed and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a new video. Something that we've never seen from a DJI drone is this new APAS system. Uh, basically what this does is uses the sensors on the front of the Mavic Air and the rear and the bottom. It determines things that are in front of the Mavic Air as it's flying and maps out autonomously a flight path around them. So for example, if we're flying towards something, this system should see that there's something in front of it and rather than just stop, it's going to actually map out a flight around it or over the top. So uh, without any rehearsal, we're going to put this thing up in the air and give it a try so that you can see exactly how well it works. All right, so I've got my drone up in the air now. To enable the APAS system on your drone, um, all you have to do is hit the little icon on the left bottom. It's right above the map. Uh, and so you just hit that APS APAS emblem and it's going to say that it is on. Now essentially that's all there is to it. All right so let's go ahead and give the APAS system a try. I'm just standing here not in a very glamorous situation but just filming outside of my fifth wheel camper here and um, what I'm going to do is show you the controller so that you can see I'm not going to be touching the left joystick at all and that joystick is actually what controls uh, you know, the, the altitude. And so I'm just gonna push the right stick all the way forward and you're gonna see that as it approaches the camper, it's actually below the camper corner right now. It's gonna need to go up and over it to clear it. So I'm gonna push forward all the way down. It's gonna approach and you see that it gained altitude and went over it. Now it does slow down, but as it slowed down, it just made it nice and smooth and kept going. So that was really cool. Again, it does show you all the warnings. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it back and do that again from the other side. So here's the camper again. I'm just gonna uh, go ahead and push forward. And again, Mavic automatically went up in the air, gained altitude and cleared the object on its own. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna give another test now on the corner of the camper and see if I can get it to go around the camper and to the left. All right, so I'm going to push forward again and you can see I'm not moving it. And yeah, it cleared it just fine. So that's pretty cool that it did that. I'm going to bring it back and give it another opportunity to maybe make a larger correction there. I'm going to push forward. Yeah, it's totally drifting to the left and I did not push the left stick at all. As you can see, um, I only moved the right stick. That's really cool. That is really, really cool. All right, so I'm gonna try something else here that I think is the biggest game changer and that's using the rear sensors on this to do the exact same thing. So one of the really neat ways that you can get um, shots on drone angles is to do what's called a reveal. And I'm gonna be teaching some of these shots in the coming weeks and in the videos that are that I'm gonna make here on the channel. But one of the ways is to, as you're flying, you actually fly in reverse. You get really close to an object and then reveal. And it gives some sort of, um, you know, just perspective to what's happening. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna turn uh, the camera around. So you see it's facing the, the camper right now. I'm gonna turn it so that it's not facing the camper. It's actually facing away. And I am going to pull the right stick backwards and let's see if we can get it to go above the camper. So it chose to go around the camper. Look at that. That is so cool. 
So it didn't go above the camper, but it did go around the camper. And that is really neat. All right, so we're gonna do something else here where I'm gonna try to make it go over the top of the camper. So um, again, I'm gonna look right at the camper here and see where I'm at. I'm gonna go down in altitude a bit, pull back. Now I'm gonna turn it around, turn the drone around again. We're not looking at anything really awesome here, I'm sorry, but. So here we go, we're gonna pull the right stick backwards, and yeah, it's doing it. The, the drone actually raised its altitude. It is gonna slow down just a little bit there, but as you can see, it went right over the top of the camper. Gosh, that is so cool, guys. You can get amazing, amazing shots with this. Um, and it makes it so much easier. I'm always worried that I'm gonna hit uh, whatever object I'm getting super close to. And so, yeah, so cool. I'm gonna try one other one here uh, facing and we can get a different kind of reveal. All right, so let's set up another shot here using a reveal from the camper. So I'm just gonna move the drone back here. You're gonna use the front facing sensors. You gotta aim to go right over the top of this camper without touching the left stick at all and fly over it to get a little bit of a reveal. So again, just pushing forward, it's gonna move and it raised the altitude to go up and over. I didn't push that at all and then there's the reveal and I can go ahead and use my left stick just to do a little bit of a pan there and go right into that field. And then raise some altitude. Pretty awesome to get that kind of a shot right there. My goodness. All right, so uh, I'm gonna bring it back home real quick and uh, set up something else. All right, I'm gonna try to do something a little bit more complicated where I actually help it out just a little bit. Um, and what I'm gonna do is actually uh, push the joystick forward and I'm gonna guide the altitude up a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can aim for that top left corner and let the drone uh, in, the, uh, in the auto flight mode actually go around it to the left. So let's see what I can try here. I'm gonna get really low to the ground and give this a go. So we're gonna move forward. I'm gonna move it up. Yeah, you can see the drone actually decided to move left and it did a nice little pan there not a pan, but it did move to the left around the camper. Guys, the opportunity for somatic shots here is really, uh, really good. Um, this is some really complicated moves that I wouldn't feel confident doing on my own without, uh, you know, without the help of these sensors to be able to get so close to these things. Um, it's really, really neat. I'm super impressed right now, guys. This is my first time using this uh, mode, and so you're seeing it raw and uncut so i'm going to try this one more time yeah it just totally moved right around that corner how cool is that one more shot of using the um rear sensors gonna go ahead and pull backwards here only pulling backwards and it raised altitude and went over the top of the camper Man, that is so cool. <laughs> so that is really cool feature of the new Mavic Air to have this APAS system. I'm wondering if they might bring this tech into other drones that already exist like the Phantom 4 Pro and the Mavic Pro or if this is a new sort of system that's just in the chips. I wonder if it'll come to a uh, so you know some sort of update or something in the future. That would be really cool if they brought this to other drones without us having to buy a whole new drone for it. But guys, of all the things that I've seen about the Mavic Air so far, again, this is just my second flight, but the portability on it, the quality of the camera, uh, and now this, this honestly makes it even better to me than the Mavic Pro. And I'm not just saying that to get you to buy a product because I'm not selling them. Um, but to me, I think this is huge. I would have never had the confidence to make those kind of shots because you can't necessarily see how close you are to something um, when the drone is not like right next to you. And so to have this, man, that is just, that's a game changer. That is a huge game changer. So just wanted to make a quick video for you to show off that new feature on the Mavic Air. Um, I wanted to also invite you to join me over on Instagram at Timothy Sunday JR. I am posting pictures there every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'm really active in the 
uh, comments and DMs and stuff. So if you want to connect, I would love to meet you over there. I'll leave a link in the description below. I also go live a few times. So even as I'm recording this right now, um, I'm doing some stories and stuff on Instagram to show some behind the scenes stuff. So pretty neat. I'd love to connect with you over there. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. If you want to watch more videos on the Mavic Air, you can click right here. If you want to watch other videos that I've made on the channel, you can click over here. Guys, I hope that you have a fantastic day. Make something awesome and I'll see you in the next video.